Hey guys, so today I am going to talk about my policy of buying graded cards. So graded cards, I don't like them very much. They take a lot of space, but then you might be like, why are you buying them? Well, more and more collectors have graded cards and you kind of miss some opportunities for graded cards. Uh, I collect them because they're cheaper than the raw. So if you understand that, it'll probably go a long way in understanding what I have to say next. So grading, everyone grades it. And many times grades like a nine um, can go for very little money um, compared to the raw. It can actually go for less money than the raw. Uh, I'm not talking about sports cards. I'm only talking about TCGs, uh, which include one piece and so on. And the only reason I would buy a grade, and I'm gonna tell you which ones I like best. Um, the only reason I would buy a graded card is because it is the same price as the raw for the PSA 9 or typically B, BGS 9, uh, 9.5 is probably a little bit above and then the 8.5 is way, way below. Uh, CGC I hate the, the most. I think CD, CGC is the least reputable of these grading companies uh, between PSA. And I'm not going to buy any other, so like Tag and Alt and whatever these other companies are, I'm not really into buying them simply for the fact that, um, in my opinion, it's the big free, right? It's always the big free magic. And the longer I do this, the more I realize that you stray to the big free, like Weiss, right? Like, you know, Weiss, um, it's a very murky area where you can lose a lot of money quite fast. And there is kind of no bottom you know, it could literally go to, you'll talk about MetaZoo, talk about other card games. For the most part, when I'm buying, when I'm buying to have fun, it's okay to buy other stuff. I actually have uh, One Piece, right? I have One Piece and I'm, now I'm buying, um, I'm buying this, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm buying a lot of Weiss. I bought some graded lilies the other day. Not the cheap card, but we'll see that in the next mail day. And so if I can get the price of a, for a raw, so if there's an auction and a lot of these auctions are graded now, if I can get a Weiss card, so this card is a BGS 10, but it's got actually like a bullet hole through it. You can't see it because it's in the sleeve, but yeah, it's got like actual damage to it. I'll buy it. Right now there is a Roxy and that is, I believe one of the most expensive cards in Weiss. The Roxy normally goes for $2,000 and because it's a AA from CGC, which means altered authentic, means somebody sharpied it, it probably will go for half off. But to me, if I just want the card, then, you know, hey, it's probably not, not bad to have the card. Now, on a few occasions, so these are BGS 10, the BGS 10 for this card, because of the damage case, costs less than the raw, in my opinion. Well, not in my opinion, it just did. Um, I'll pick up some tens when it is a cheap card that I like. So you pay and it's only a little bit, maybe 25% more than the nine. Otherwise I simply won't pick up the 10. And actually, you know, we have a delivery. We're getting deliveries almost every day because of the baby stuff, which is fun. Uh, so <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so we'll probably hear that noise soon. Uh, but nines, you know, like a nine like this is actually cheaper than the raw. And that's why I'm finding if you can get nines for less money than a raw card, I think that's a pretty good deal because it, it basically, in my opinion, it's like they're transporting it in a safer method. Uh, sometimes these methods where they're transporting stuff isn't uh, the most safe. So it's kind of like an extra security layer. Uh, nines, again, nines are great. Shiba Renew is, uh, this is a 10, but I kind of find it in the nine at the time. Shiba Uno is whining uh, a lot because he wants to see the mailman, UPS guy. Um, no, six is, this is kind of where the value is. I, I want to take time to talk about this. Like a six is actually not bad. It's an EX mint card, you know? Like a six is, in my opinion, like a six or a seven or eight. So let's say a raw card is $100. You can get a six for like less than like, 30 40 dollars because people think oh that's not good but that's still like an ex card so that part you know you can really find incredible deals but you know people know that so they just crack out the psa slab and they throw it up again right 
as a raw. But um, I think in terms of if you do find these slabs, like mainly I find them in person, right? In collections, you can get a really good deal because like it's still like not bad condition. You know, it's still a really nice card in my opinion. It's just a six, right? Just a seven. Um, as for like what we're collecting right now, my girlfriend and I, we are collecting Pokemon, Pokemon being very hot. Uh, we're doing Weiss, Weiss being very cheap, Weiss being out of all the card games, the card game that is the least expensive to collect currently. Um, even like something like this, like this is not expensive at all. I have no idea why anyone would grade it. Uh, it great came back a PSA 10, the guy wanted like $2 for it. A Raichu is still a Raichu. I mean, it's still a cool card to look at. And when we open our game store soon, you're gonna need these penny slabs, uh, not penny slabs, you're gonna need these like dollar slabs-ish. Because people do like them. I, I get why, I get the appeal, right? It's uh, visually appealing, but uh, people like them. Oh, and uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! So one thing, I've also Yu-Gi-Oh! So, uh, so we're doing the big free, which is magic. I know you haven't seen magic yet, but I promise you it's coming. It's just probably in the mail now. It's actually probably the mailbox mail dude drive. Uh. But uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is interesting. Yu-Gi-Oh, there are a lot of slabs. I don't know who the F was grading all these Yu-Gi-Oh slabs, but there are a lot of Yu-Gi slabs for like five, 10, 50, basically less than the cost of grading. And they're on eBay and they're really cheap and Yu-Gi-Oh cards in general are incredibly cheap right now. Maybe because of the mass reprints. I'm not entirely sure why it's so cheap, but it is. Um, now, CGC. I I told you I didn't. I don't love. I don't love CGC. You know, I think CGC is kind of a interesting thing, right? The the stits. I don't love it because a lot of uh, what not people use it and have uh, organized where they just kind of pump out these really stupid slabs, right? So they can do mystery boxes. So I'm ethically opposed to these mystery boxes where everyone gets like hosed. You guys know their names. Like it's obvious who's doing this, right? Where they send a huge submissions to CDC of like 25 cent cards and now suddenly it's super valuable because it's in the slab. No, I, I don't give any value to the card in the slab. And if you want a PSA 10, I'm not the one to buy from you, right? If you want more than a raw, I will never buy a card unless there, there's one thing, unless I cannot find it. And the only, and it's kind of one of these rare, like the shiny Ho-Oh, I just can't find that. I love Ho-Oh. He had some type of raid day. It was uh, Shadow Ho-Oh, which I have a uh, purified hundo on Pokemon Go. And uh, and I wanted to buy Ho-Oh that day. So that was the most attractive Ho-Oh to me. A Japanese promo, probably not that rare, but I couldn't find a nine at the time. So I had to buy 10. Anyway, hi guys.